Welcome back to Ayastek. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up and use the MCP model context protocol introduced by the Claude. It is very nice features that will help you to add extra powers to your Claude desktop application. So for example, with the help of this, you can use internet as well. You can search online right within your Claude desktop application so far by default Claude does not provide any feature that allow you to search internet but with the help of mcp you can search internet and not only this feature you have a lot of other features as well so they have several servers available that you can use to add different kind of features so for example if you open this repository here you will find the list of existing servers that were built by Claude and these are official so you can just quickly use them or if there is a feature that you want or the server that doesn't exist yet you can create your own custom server as well so they have the entire documentation guiding you how to create your own custom server and if you look at uh, this github repository we have several very useful servers that you can install to enhance your Claude desktop application. For example, you have the file system server that will give you the or uh, give Claude the access of your computer. You can let Claude to read the files in your computer and it can also control the file system. It can create files in your own computer. Also, you can give the access to your GitHub repository or GitHub account as well or you can use the GitLab or you can connect the Git with your Claude. So you can pass the instruction to the Claude desktop app to perform any Git related actions very easily. And then we also have the Google Drive option, SQLite, PostgreSQL, Slack, Sentry, Memory and Puppeteer, Browser Automation and Web Scrapping, Brave Search, Google Maps, Fetch and many more and so on. So in this short demo video, I will just show you brave search and we will also try to use the GitHub integration. So let's begin. So if you go to the home page of the model context protocol, we have the introduction, but let's quickly start using it. You can use the Python version or TypeScript version whatever you prefer i will be using the npx that is the node.js version so here first of all you need to have the cloud application installed in your computer i'm using mac i can show you my node.js version that i have so i'm currently using 20.16.0 at the moment so once you have Claude installed and you have the Node.js installed in your computer and available to use, you just have to edit this file. For the first time, this file might not be available. You have to create it. So just copy this command and run it in your terminal. It will open it in the VS code. But if VS code is not configured yet with this command, then you can manually open this folder and uh, edit in any editor you prefer so let me show you how so for example you can just copy this path and you can type open this okay and and with that you will see all of the files of the cloud here and if file is created you will see here okay now let's copy this command again and let me show you how to open it in the editor for me the vs code command is not configured yet so i will open it my another editor that is cursor you can use any other editor so just drag and drop here in your project okay now go back to the github repo and go to the brave search okay here you will find the entire instruction you can follow or just copy this piece of code and go back to your vs code and paste it here so we have an object with the property mcp servers and within this object you will paste all of your servers that you want to include okay now i want to use the brave search so here i need to provide the api key so you will get the api key by going to the brave.com website create an account there and once your account is created you can visit this url to create your api key so in order to use their api key they will ask you to provide your credit card details so although it is still free it, they will not charge you but you will have to provide your payment method once that is done, you are able to create the API key. So click on that and here type the name of the API key. You can choose any name. I will use the test. Click on that button and your API key 
is available just click on the copy button it would be copied on your clipboard and paste it here okay that's it once that is done you have to quit it by clicking on this and restart your cloud with that you will immediately notice this icon here on the right side that is saying two mcp tools available okay so for the first time when i did that i had to enable the developer uh, mode here i i don't remember i guess it was from this menu if you click on that you would find an option to enable the developer mode okay once that is done you will see this open mcp log click on that you will find all of the logs from mcp if you want to look into that and further if you go to the settings and go to the developer here you will find all of the mcp servers that are currently attached okay so now once you see this icon then it's ready to be used so you can just search give me latest news about ai okay if you enter that it will use the available tool that is relevant to our query and it will ask your permission to execute this tool so i will click on allow for this chat so now it is executing the tools and now it provided me the recent news from the internet so the key recent developments in ai is major ai com companies like microsoft and google have launched tools making ai app etc so you can you got the idea that now you can use ai along with the internet you can ask any other news about twitter let's see what it says okay so we got the twitter news as well the guardian has announced it will stop posting on x from its official accounts etc you can also ask about the weather how is weather in new york at the moment okay so let's see hello for this chat okay we got the most recent weather information the temperature is 41 degree fahrenheit condition is rainy etc okay now let's try the github server installation so go back to the github uh, github repository and click on the github here so you will find the server documentation here and this is the code that you need to paste we already have this uh, property object mcp server we just have to copy this part okay and go back to the editor and within the mcp server object add comma here and paste the property github along with its parameters so here we need to provide the github personal access token so to get that you need to go to the github and here click on the settings and then on the bottom click on the developer setting and here click on the personal access token so you can either click on the token classic or fine grained tokens whatever suits you i will just use the token classic and click on generate new token and here i will just add test cloud as the node or name for it for the expiration i will set the seven days and you can select the scopes whatever you want so these are basically the permissions that you are giving to this token so with the help of this token all of these actions could be performed okay just click on the generate token and we got the token just copy that and paste it here okay and now we have to restart the cloud once again quit it and open it again so wait for the tools to be appeared currently there are only two tools we will be able to use it once these are available for the github as well okay i see that number has been increased from 2 to 11 so we got many more tools that are coming from the git so if you look at this we have several options we have create branch option we have the create issue we have create uh, our update file we can create a pull request we can create a new repository we can fork our repository we can get the file content for the specific file we can push files and we can search for the repositories okay let's see what it tells us i want to see the list of the repositories in my github account so i will ask it show me list of github repos in my account so let's see if that works click on allow for this chat and it is executing this i got an error it is saying apologize i need to specify a complete username uh, to search the repositories could you please provide me github username sure go back to the github and here let's find our username click on this and this is your username copy that and go back to the cloud and paste the name this is my username let's see if that works okay it is saying you have 19 repositories in total and this is correct 
these all of these repositories belong to my account so let's quickly go to my account go to the repository just to verify that these are the repositories and yes these are all of the repositories okay uh by the way there are some private as well let me ask the cloud give me the list of the private wrappers only okay now it is telling me there are only four private repositories so let me just double check search for the blog post blog test yes this is private okay perfect now let's try to create a new repository with the help of this tool create a new repository with the name xyz with a nice readme readme file okay let's see if that works okay allow for this chat it is trying to create a repository okay i think it has created it now i will update the readme allow for this chat that is uh -uh. I got an error. Let me update the readme with proper encoding. Okay. It is uh, having difficulties. Okay. The repository has been created successfully and initialized with the basic readme. You can find it here. Okay. That sounds exciting. Let's quickly go there. Reload it. And yes, it has created the repository with the XYZ. So that feels like magical. But the readme file is not user friendly at all. So let's try to tell it please update the readme file please add some useful text in readme file in this repo so it is saying i apologize for technical error could you try adding content manually through github web interface okay no i don't want to do that or maybe let me just copy the actually i see it worked it has updated the readme file perfectly and it looks great so let me ask it actually i will start a new conversation but before that let me copy the path of my repo so here i will ask it add the heading hello world in the readme file of this repo let's see if that works allow for this chat okay now it is trying to add the heading allow for this chat although it got some error but let's see if that works let me reload it yes although it is showing the errors but it still works i got the text that i wanted to add here so let me quickly see the other available options that we can use in this server so so here we can create update file we can push multiple files in a single commit and we can search for the repositories we can create repositories we can get the file content okay let's try this thing for example find some repos and go to the blog test and let's copy that and here and here i will ask it please explain this project and give me the project file structure from this repo okay paste it allow for this chat allow again now it is trying to get the content from this repository okay all right now it is giving us the information this full stack blog application built with angular and node.js here is the project structure excellent the project uses front end angular with typescript and tailwind css backend node.js with typescript both front end and backend have their own package management and typescript configuration excellent so everything is working perfectly awesome you can create pull requests you can fork a repository create a branch let's try this one uh, open your cloud in this repo create a new branch hello world okay let's see if that works go back to my repo and currently there are no extra branches yet click on allow for this chat okay the new branch has been created let's check reload the repository and here yes it has created the repository so this is so powerful and i already can imagine the possibilities next last thing that i would like to try is the file management in my local machine so go back to the list of the servers here and here click on the file system and if you scroll down by the way they have provided the documentation for every function that you may use for example you can read file read multiple files write file create a directory list directory move files search files get file info and list allowed directories anyways now copy this part and go back to your editor and here i will add comma and put my another server and here we have to correct the path so i want to provide only one path at the moment i want to edit my existing project so th this project i will get the exact path by typing pwd it will give me the entire path so just select all and paste it here so in this way cloud will have access 
to only this one directory and all of the nested folders within this directory okay you may add a list of multiple directories as well it's up to you save it and now let's restart the cloud and test it okay now it is 11 it should be increased to more tools so let's wait for a bit okay now it is showing 20 mcp tools excellent all of that file related tools are visible here now we can start trying it show me list of files in my local machine okay let's see if that works allow for this chat it is running this tool list allowed directories allow for this chat this appears to be an angular project directory with standard configuration file i will ask him to provide me the file structure provide me file structure or file tree view let's see what it provides here allow for this chat this time it is running search files from the file system server all right it is now creating the graph and it has displayed the entire folder structure in the graph view you can zoom in and see what is there that is interesting and also here it has provided the text version of the file structure excellent i can iterate on it further for example give me complete nested view of this tree for every file but ignore the node modules or the folders that start with the dot okay so let's see what happens so if you want to observe you can click on these to see what actions or what commands they are running they are running this pattern no matches found okay and here they got these files excellent excellent okay now they have provided us complete nested view of every file available in our project I can also tell it to show me in the visual way as well show me visually as well so it will try to generate some kind of ui or graph to display the entire nested tree view structure all right now it is very helpful you can zoom in and you can see what is going on so these are the files that are that are on the root directory and then we have these it is a bit, a bit difficult to drag but anyway all right so we have these files further in this source directory and in the app directory we have further these files so this, this is very very helpful and very useful and again possibilities are endless we can achieve a lot of things that you could imagine all right i think that's all uh, i wanted to cover in this video and if you have any questions or anything you would like to share or if you want to share your experience then please feel free to share them in the comments section below i would try my best to reply them as soon as possible by the way this mcp servers works perfectly in my imac but when i try to run them in the macbook pro m1 chip uh, it did not work and i see in the github issues section and it is happening with several people uh, it did not work for the many people for example i was getting could not attach to M mcp server so uh, you may also face that kind of issue if not then that's great you can just keep using it but if you face this error then uh, you are not alone maybe they will fix this bug soon and if you want me to record videos further on all of these servers then let me know in the comments i will record another video covering all of these tools one by one to demonstrate and also if you would like me to create a custom server then i would be happy to do that in front of you to explore the further possibilities by the way i just noticed that earlier there were only featured servers that were created officially by them by the authors of model context protocol but now i see the community servers now uh, people started to create and contribute in it so far i see two further servers that were com created by the community first one is the cloudflare and second one is the raygun so this is so exciting that community has started to contribute and i'm sure that very soon you will see hundreds of servers that will make your life very very easy all right thanks for watching this video if you think that this video provided you some value and helped you in any way then please like and share this video and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos